Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. So Nem, how did the service go? It went well. Oh. I mean, okay. we give God the glory. But Mama eh, <laughs> Mama, it wasn't funny at all. Eh. Forgive me. Hey, those people, those people posted me to one remote village like that. Very far. Jesus. What, Mama? Those people are very nice. They are good people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they normally give us food items for free. No, when I am. Yes. <laughs> Uh, uh, but I hear that foodstuffs are very cheap there. Ha! My foodstuffs are cheap. Oh. No, well, Mama, do you know that eh, if you buy eh, tomatoes, mm. 200 naira, mm. you won't even be able to finish it. No, well, it will be so big. Eh? <laughs> oh, now you're looking <laughs> like this. There are lots of food. Hey. So, Mama, tell me, mm. how have you been coping with my siblings? Hmm. It has been very rough. Though it has not been easy raising you kids since your father died and left us. But it became worse since we left for your national service. <laughs> Sometimes we barely feed. Let's say no, meeting up with the school demands of your siblings. Maybe we are managing to survive. I know God will see us too. Amen. Amen. Oh, mm. might well. Okay. I'm here now. God will surely bless us. I'm so happy to see you. I'm happy to see you. So happy to see you. Go. Mama. I cannot thank you enough for all that you have been doing for your siblings. Mama. <sighs> You have been so helpful to me. Why are you thanking me? Ugun, what would I have done without you? Mama, I have told you to stop thanking me. Eh? They are my brothers and sister. If I don't take care of them, who will? Hmm? Mm. Am I okay? Ugun, God will bless you. Amen. Oh, God Amen. will always bless you. Amen. Thank you so much. Hope you children are enjoying the food. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you need more, I will cook. Go and bring more for you, oh? Sister, thank you for the books you bought for us, but my teacher said I should pay for my sports vest tomorrow. Okay. Sister, my teacher said my books are not yet complete, that I have to get some verbal and quantitative reasoning. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. Hmm? No problem. We will do it one step at a time, okay? You know, I just paid for all your books for this week. And I'm also sewing new uniform for all of you, as mm. well as sandals. Mm, next week, uh, April, I'll be able to give you money for your sports vest. And then, um, Ijoma, I'll also give you money for your books. Is that fair enough? Okay, mm. sister. Mm. What will you say? Would you say thank you to your sister? Thank, thank you, sister. sister. Mm -mm. You're welcome. Ah, Mom, Chuku God save you. Oh, Amen. Chuku God save you. Amen. Amen, Mama. Amen. Ha! Oh. Eh? What's wrong with Mama? Sister, eh? Mama will be sick since morning. Ah, ah. Sick? Yes. Mama, 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 what is wrong with you? Eh? Mama, what is it now? Mama, it's me. Eh? Hey, God. Uh, Mama. I will take you to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ijama, please help me. Eh? Let's let's take Mama to the hospital. Mm -hmm. eh? Mama, because stand up now. Mama, because. Oh, eh, Ijama, let me go and look for Keke. Eh? That will take Mama to the hospital. You should take care of Mama. Oh. I'm coming now. Eh, okay. I'm coming. So, doctor, what is wrong with my mother? Is she going to be fine? Relax. Huh? She'll be fine. We need to run some tests on her. 
So, we have to proceed to the finance desk and make some deposits so that uh, we can commence treatment. Huh? Okay, doctor. I'm not here for pleasantries. Please go and call your mother for me. Um, Uncle, my mom has been at the hospital. Yeah. So how is she faring? She's getting better. I even want to take um, some food to her. Actually, I came because of the money she borrowed from me. She promised to pay me back in three months. But it is almost one year now. I also need money for my own medication because my health has been failing me for the past weeks. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry to hear that, Uncle. When are you going to see her? Um, no, I'm even taking the food to her. But how can I start asking uh, for my money from a sick woman? <sighs> I send my greetings to her. Yes, uncle. Okay. But don't tell her that I came for the money. Okay. Because she needs her own help first. Yes, uncle. Thank you so much. My God will keep you. Amen. Thank you. I didn't know you were back from the national service. Uh, uncle, um, I came back a um, few days ago. You're looking good. <laughs> Thank you, uncle. You Let me take my leave. All right, sir. Such a nice man. <sighs> Mama? Hi. Hey. Good morning. Mama, mm -hmm. how do you feel? I feel much better now. You feel daughter. much better? Yes. Hey, I'm so happy. Hmm. I'm so happy. Go. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mama. God bless you. Amen. Mama, I brought your favorite. Mm. Hmm? Yes. Mm. So I want you to get up and eat. Oh, mm. let me bring you. Mm. Oh, doctor, good day. Good day, sir. Good day, my dear. Yes, sir. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Mama, mm. how are you feeling today? I feel much better now, doc. Beautiful. <laughs> She'll be discharged tomorrow. Yeah. Mm? Okay, okay, doctor. And mama, mm? please, avoid much stress because of your BP. Okay. You hear? Okay. That's good. Okay. <laughs> please, approach the cashier's desk and pay up your bills mm. so she can be discharged. Mm. Hmm? Okay, doctor. That's right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you, doctor. All right. Thank you, doctor. Hmm. My daughter. Mama. This one. Um, let me let me get your food, okay? Having a child like you, oh. and I'm blessed to have a mother like you. Mm. God, you're too much. Mm. Ah. I know you people are hungry, right? Don't worry, mm? food will soon be ready. Uh -huh. Ibuka, you would. Uh... I'm stronger, son, and I will be stronger and stronger for you. Amen. <laughs> so go to the market, eh? Buy tomatoes and pepper. 
200 naira mm -hmm. only. Oh. Ah. All right, hurry up, Paul. I will not be sick to Mm-hmm. EJ, eh? Take some firewood and uh, can make some fire, oh, so we can be fast in preparing the food in here. And now, nearly I can, oh, to help your sister in here. Uh -huh. You can start making fire, oh, very soon the food will be ready, oh. It'll soon be ready, eh? Uh -huh. go. We'll go. Mm. I don't know what I would have done without you. No, my, it's no one. It's okay. Mama. Mm. I told you to stop. Stop all this lamentation. Okay? Mm. Ugo, mm. tell me, why won't I lament when I know what you have been passing through? You've been taking care of all our needs since you came back from the service. I know that you have settled my hospital bill with the little left on you. Tell me, how will we sustain? Hmm? Now I don't go to the market anymore. Mm -hmm. Can you stop? Remember what the doctor told you? No, no, I know. The doctor said you should stop overthinking. I know. Stop stressing yourself so much so that your BP won't rise. I know. I know, mm. my daughter. Stop getting worried, okay? I know. <sighs> Miss fears are actually real. The 180,000 Naira I came back with has gradually depleted. Now I have just 10,000 Naira left in this house. Hmm. What becomes of us if it finishes? No. We can't keep living like this. We can't keep living in abject poverty. This is complete squalor. No food. No essentials. I have to do something. I have to do something before my mother thinks herself to death. Your heart is troubled, my daughter. This moment has always been part of my fears. Ugo, have you come to feed me with my fears? I'll be leaving for Enugu tomorrow in search for a job. We have very little money in this house. 
what will happen to us when the money eventually finishes? Mama, I need a job. I need a job to take care of you and my younger siblings. Please, Mama. <sighs> I am ready to, to look for any kind of job, any job that would at least put food on our table. Oh, Unim. If you have to. Mama, look. If I don't get a job tomorrow, I will come back to the village before nightfall. Okay? If you must go, remember the daughter of whom you are. Our Christian virtues and the Christian motherhood we should not be compromised with. Hmm? A lot of young girls go to the city and do dirty things to make money. Ugum, I know who you are. You will not. And my God will always see you true. Amen. Mama, I promise not to let you down. Okay? Oh? No, Ma. Hmm? It's okay. Mm. Yeah. You know I have to sleep early so I can wake up on time. Eh? To head to Enugu. Okay, Good night. Mm. Hmm. Good day, Ma. Good day. I may I go talk to you, please? Please, I would like to see the manager. Any official appointment? No, no. Your name, please? Okone Udemba. Okay. Hello, sir. There's a young lady requested to see you, sir. Okay, sir. Her name is Ugone. Okay, sir. By the light. Thank you so much. God bless you. Yeah. Oh, um, good day, sir. Good day, young lady. How are you? Uh, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you, sir. My name is Ogone. Ogone okay. Udeba. Mm -hmm. I am a graduate of Library and um, Information Science from the University of Benin. And I just finished my National Youth Service four months ago. And I am in need of a job, sir. But, young lady, I don't remember placing an advert for employment. So how come? Um, yes, yes, sir, I, I know. But I was hoping if there is a way you could help me out. We already have the number of workers we want to work with. And this establishment, we don't need too many workers. So I wish you all the best. Thank you. I know, sir. But you see, I really need a job badly so badly, so that I can help my family. Please, sir, is there any way you can help me? Miss Job Seeker, please leave my office. There's no vacancy. No, please, please, sir. Any kind of job, any, any job at all, I don't mind. Please, just, just help me out, please. No vacancy, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank 
Um, good day, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Please, I would love to see the manager. Any appointment? Um, look, sir, I actually came in respect of the advert I saw outside. Oh, that. You see, um, you mean the cleaner job? Yes, yes. Sorry, my dear. We just finished employing this afternoon. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, but can I at least see the manager? It's not necessary. Today, what a search, yet without success. It's 5 30 p.m. already. How do I go back to the village to face my poor mother and siblings? No, I can't go back to that village without a job. But where have I not searched in this city? Where? Every day we're fighting for survival While every night we're praying for a better day And the loose keep going and sugar Many more are coming out of school With far more less to do So tell me what we have to do When the roof seems to be falling this foundation was never meant to last Cause greed has eaten down the ceiling And whatever is left now is <laughs> She's been sleeping since I came in. Yeah, she will be fine. And uh, me, I have also slept off. Look at the time. 
It's getting late. I have to be on my way now. Please, just do everything you can to stabilize her, please. I'll be back in the morning. On my way to the office, I will come here first. And I will do just as you said. All right, Doctor, thank you. Why are you crying? See, I didn't come here to make you cry, honestly. I'm not crying because of you. I'm crying because I am not fine. Why? What is it that troubles you? I cry over something. I cry over my misery. Shh. Don't say a word again. Listen, you are still sick and you need to get better. Anyway, what is your name? My name is Ogoni. Okay. Ogoni Deva. My name is Richard. What is it that bothers you? I really need a job, sir. Hey, take away the sir. You can call me by my name, Richard. So, what bothers you? After my national service, four months back, and ever since I returned back to the village from the north where I served. And it's been months of unbearable suffering. My mother and my siblings are suffering terribly in the village. I actually came to the city to look for a job. But I've searched I've searched everywhere, everywhere, all the major places that I know in the city I have searched, but without any success, I am afraid of returning to my mother without a job. I am the eldest of five children, and my dad is late. It's okay. That's all. How old are you? I'll be 24. I'm gonna be 24 years. Well, I wish I can help you with a job, but unfortunately I can't. My company does not have any vacancy. I run an oil and gas establishment. My office does not need uh, much workers. I uh, still uh, encourage you to, you know, um, concentrate on getting well first before bothering yourself with uh, getting a job. 
um, you can manage the resource fruit, whatever you want. Tell the hospital management they will provide it for you because I have made money available to them. Okay? <laughs> don't worry, I will come back to know how you're doing. Okay? <laughs> you don't have to cry. Crying will not solve your problem or crying cannot give you a job. Get well soon. Well, This morning, eh? your phone, you're not taking your calls. I went to your office, your secretary saying you're not around. What happened? Sammy, my brother, I left my phones in the car walls in the hospital. Hospital? What happened? Who is sick? I almost killed an innocent girl yesterday. <laughs> We are you on high speed and you couldn't see on time? <sighs> my brother, my wife is giving me a whole lot of stress. I can't concentrate. I, I, don't, I don't want to go back to the office today. I can't concentrate. I'm confused. A whole lot is going through my brain. A whole lot is going through in my brain. A whole lot. A whole lot. My brother, this life is not fair at times to most people. If you see this, this girl is so innocent looking. So beautiful. In that, desperately looking for a job any kind of job with good qualifications she's looking for any kind of job she's ready to take any amount as a salary you see when uh, i reflect on my marriage and my stupid wife who is actually the cause of my mindless striving that evening that almost got me killed, that innocent girl. My wife nags like the devil himself. You need to take things easy, man. You're not the only one in a bad marriage. Now look at me. Just look at me. Richard Adibe, CEO Okumex Oil and Gas. Just look at me. I have my head office here, my branch office at Abuja. In every standard, a comfortable man. But look at me, a shadow of myself. Am I happy? No. No wonder they say the rich also cry. But you see, each time I take a look at that woman and reflect on how rough it took me to get to where I am, I feel like divorcing her. But I cannot because her father was good to me. Her father was instrumental to my success. Sammy, my wife is a man. Knocks me for money as if she's broke ax. And when you give her, she will not even be grateful. She sleeps around like a cold girl. No, Sammy, tell me, will that girl not know the importance of money when she starts working and starts receiving salary? Or when one dashes her money? Will she appreciate it? She would appreciate it because she has worked so hard for it. I understand how you feel. Let me I do. Your wife's character disposition is heartbreaking. Let me your I've been thinking on how to tell you this. But 
but I think you need to know. I saw your wife three days ago with one rough looking guy at Metrix Hotel. <laughs> Honestly, I think I should let you know. <laughs> oh, you think I'm surprised hearing that? Hearing that you saw my wife at Metrix Hotel? Oh, you think I don't know that my wife sleeps around? I know. In the last three years that we got married, Two years now, I have not had sex with her. Even the daughter she claims is mine, I am not sure of. So, I decided not to touch her so that I will not carry any disease. I have not touched my wife for two years. I know all her escapades. I know all the men that she sleeps around with. But you know what it is? When you get married to a rich man's daughter, that is it. My brother, you need to take it easy. I'm proud about it. <laughs> Maybe she will realize her folly and turn up and you leave. So, where are you going from here? I'm going back to the hospital to see Ugonne. Is that her name? Yes. Let them get you a drink. Uh, Batman, what, do you want your usual or... Can, can you get a glass for us, please? Lanky? Lanky, is that you? Oh my goodness! Bella. Lanky! Is that oh. you? <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my god! Lanky. Bella, where have you been? <laughs> I can't believe it. This is like a movie. What in the world have you been? <laughs> oh my god! Bella, I've so missed you. I missed you I mean, too. I've missed your succulent lips. I mean, your body. <laughs> God! I never thought I would ever see you again. Oh, I've missed you too, Lanky. I, I can't believe this is you. I mean, you, you, you just disappeared. You, you know, without <laughs> keeping in touch. I'm so sorry. Whatever happened that. to you? And you haven't changed much. <laughs> I can say that again. <laughs> I've missed you. I've only really missed you all these years. You know, why are we even having this conversation here? Why don't we go to my room? Because mm. I'm lodged here. You serious? Yes! Like, seriously? You know how it is, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let you here. <sighs> come on, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Let's just stop. Hunky, <laughs> come on. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I've missed you. Thank you. And thanks for the dress. Well, you're welcome. Honestly, I didn't know that it would fit you this way. Actually, you're looking amazing. But I guess you have a good taste. Well, if you can. 
I don't know about that, but um, I try. The doctor said you've been discharged. So it's time for you to go home. Hello? The only home I have is my village. I can't return to my mother and my siblings like this. I really need a job. So, how do you want to do it? What are your plans of getting the job? Maybe I will go back into the city and continue my search. I may be lucky today. I pray so. Okay. Take care of your things and meet me downstairs. Your house is very beautiful. Well, this is my place. I just got it. I got it because I want a place where I can come and cool off my head whenever Madame begins with her troubles. But Madame does not know that I own here. So, you can stay here if you like until you get yourself a job, then, then move into your own uh, apartment. You mean I Don't can't stay here. Do you like the place? No, no, no. Sir, your house is very beautiful. Thank so why are you so doing now? Much. Thank you. God bless hey, hey, you. My God will bless you. Get up. Sir, you don't, you don't know get the agony up. you just saved me from. God bless you, sir. I am disobedient. I am so grateful. I said get up. Thank you. Get up. Thank you. Thank you so Good. much. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. It's okay. God bless this. you. Have this. In case um, you don't like anything at home, you can... Uh, Get yourself whatever you wish to get for yourself. If you need any help, Udogu, my house assistant, must and will assist you. Is that understood? Have this. I will check up on you from time to time. Take care. Bye. Odugu. Oga. Come. Okay, sir. Listen. Okay, sir. And listen very, very attentively. I will not tolerate any mistakes. You see that lady that just came in with me? Yes, sir. She'll be staying in this house for now. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Anything she wants, make sure you provide it for her. If you do not know what to do, call me. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. No problem. Sir. Don't let her lack anything. Okay, sir. Go and open the gate for me. Thank you, sir. Um, sir, I was really speechless back in there. I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. You're really a messiah. Do not let these tears come down your cheek from your eyes anytime you're talking with me. Is that understood? Go inside, freshen up, and have your dinner. I'll come back to see you okay, sir. later. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Good. Thank you. Thank you once again.
And Bella, mm -hmm. you know you are the only one married amongst us. Don't you think it's high time you quit this lifestyle and focus on your husband? I mean, you need to try and make him a better man so that both of you can live happily again. <laughs> Lisa, hmm? how am I supposed to do that? A husband that has vowed not to make me feel like a woman. A husband that has refused to make love to me for the past two years. Lisa, do I look like a piece of wood to you? You're not. I'm a woman. I have feelings that need to be attended to, but my husband has refused to attend to my sexual needs. And since he has refused to give it to me, I will keep getting it outside. Oh, yeah. See, our marriage will remain hell until he changes. I see your point. But darling, two wrongs don't make a right. It takes two to make marriage work. Anyway, your husband also really needs to sort fed out so that the two of you can resolve these issues and live like man and wife, yeah. as it should be. Uh, if he wants to live with me as his wife, I will also live with him. <laughs> so how are you guys doing? You're fine? Kenny. Kenny! <laughs> how are you? I am so happy you're recovering. I'm so happy you're recovering so fast. Mama. Kenichika is getting better. Oh I'm God. so happy. Hey, don't see, don't fall mm -hmm. sick again. Oh, uh -huh. and Mama, how are you? Hey, oh Jehovah, I thank you once again for bringing back my daughter. Hmm? Hey, you got me so worried. Do you want to kill your mother? Mama. Hmm? Every day. I kept my eyes on the road, hoping to see my little girl. <laughs> Mama. Nem, what happened? <laughs> Mama, nothing happened. You worried so much. <laughs> Don't blame me. I nearly die of anxiety. Mm. <gasps> well, Mama, I understand. Mm. But a lot happened. A mm. whole lot. I mean, what happened? Mm. Mama, when I got to the city mm. and searched for a job, I got lucky. You know, after a long time searching for a job, you know, I, I was tired mm. and also hungry. Mm. So I decided to go to the canteen to eat. So when I got to the canteen, I met a friend and I told him that I was in search for a job. So he directed me to um, Okumex Oil and Gas Company. Uh -uh. Yes. So mama, I quickly rushed there. And when I got there, I was employed. Eh? Wow. Yes. Wow. I was employed as the secretary to the CEO of the company. Mm -hmm. hey. And I told him I didn't have a place to stay. Mm -hmm. So he directed me to his cousin's sister. And he told her to accommodate me for a while. So that's where I've been staying. And hmm, Mama, that woman is a very nice woman. One lady number. <laughs> so when I got my salary, I got my first salary this week. Mm. And since we don't work on Saturdays, I decided to come home and, you know, see you people. <laughs> and also share the good news. <laughs> hey. Ugo. Oh. <laughs> Just like that. Mama, just like that too. <laughs> Sister, so you're you are working in a big company. Uh -huh. Yes, so. Sister is working in a big company. <laughs> no. So with your full salary, you were able to get us all the things you brought. Mm -hmm. hmm? Go. Mama, why are you looking at me like that? Hmm. Is everything okay? Are you sure you're telling your mother the truth? Ah. Ah, Mama, I don't understand. Of course, why would I lie to you? 
Amma, look, I'm hungry. Oh, I'm hungry. Since I came, you've not even asked me what I will eat. It's okay. Oh, don't you know I've missed your food? I know you've missed my food. Mm -hmm. No. So, children, I got you lots of goodies. I know that's why people are waiting for me. Mama. Ugum, Mama, are you still thinking? <sighs> Mama, I'll be leaving for Enugu tomorrow after church. So I can resume work on Monday. Hmm. And um, this is 50,000 Naira. Hmm? Yes, I want you to use this and sustain yourself and the children. And um, by month end, when I get my salary, I'll send you more money. Ugum. Mama. Hmm. Ugum, mommy. Mama, what is it? Hey. Mm. Mm. Tell me the truth. Where did you get this big money and all the things you bought for us? Mama. The things I got for you people are from my salary. Eh? And even this money is part of my salary. Mama, when did you start suspecting me? Mm -hmm. Or is it that you don't trust me anymore? Mm -hmm. Nay. Nay. Mm -hmm. I know what you're thinking. But that is not what your daughter is doing in the city. Oh? Um, I might have to go to bed now. Hmm? Okay. Good night, Mama. Something is definitely not right with my little girl. Hmm. Oh God, please protect her for me. What's up? How you doing? This one, you came back early. Is there a curfew in town? Are the bars and hotels no longer conducive for you? Useless, stupid, irresponsible man. Single married man. Useless man! I am asking you, are the bars closed? Are the bars closed? Stupid fool. You will not talk. You don't want to answer. You don't want to answer. Oh, God. Shh. So you're the bitch. The little bitch network that is flirting with my husband. Didn't your mother teach you to stay away from people's husbands and marriages? I'm so sorry, sorry bitch! Oh. 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 
Come on, get this back. This way. Wait, Out. Out. Oh, 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 oh. I said kneel down. Look at the cockroach. Can you imagine this little thing? Kneel down. I said kneel down. Please, uh, kneel down. So down. Are you I'm so deaf? Sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, Doku, yes, what is it? Odogu, what is wrong with you? What do you mean by Wahala? Have you been smoking weed in my house? What do you mean by Wahala uh, pass water? What is the problem? Eh? My wife came to the house. How did she know the house? Who showed her the house? Now, why did you open the door for her? Odogu, are you okay? I'm coming back now, I'm coming back now. Check sound clear. Heart rate 90. Okay. Yeah, she's still alive. But her condition is very critical. Okay, doctor, please do something. Everything in your past to make her well. The money is not a problem. I would don't screw and pay now, please. Please. Okay. That's not good. Please. Thank you. Um, sir, excuse me. Um, your bill is set. Uh, are you ready? Yes, yes. I'm here to pay the bills. Okay. Um, so would you make transfer? Oh, it will be transfer. Just write the details for me. Lucy. Yes, doctor. Has you done the necessary payment? Um, not yet. We're on it already. So. I hope you included. Uh, do everything? Yes, yes, everything is right. Okay, all right. Doctor, please, yeah. what exactly is the problem? Like I suspected, she has fractured neck and ribs. Relax, don't worry. And as a result of the shock, she has brain stroke. But I'm afraid we don't have the necessary facilities to take care of her at the moment. So I advise. You move her to a specialist, please. Okay, doctor, thank you for the information. I am moving her to Abuja immediately. That's good. Wow, that's good. Thank you. Right. Okay. Once you're done with the payment, I'll make the necessary arrangements. Okay. Please, don't forget, sir. Delay is very dangerous. Please. Uh, I'll do it immediately. Right. Thank you. Hey! Useless and hopeless sugar daddy. Irresponsible married man. Have you gone to deposit her corpse in the morgue? I am asking you, have you gone to deposit her corpse in the morgue? So you think I will not find out? You think you can keep a mistress in this town without my finding out? Richard, you underestimate me. You underestimate me, Richard unfaithful ingrate of a husband. Irresponsible married man. Useless man. Useless man. I said you are a useless man. Useless man. That's what you are. <clears throat> a child that says the mother will not sleep will have to be born by another mother. Who is your own mother? Who's your own mother, you wretched fool? You have forgotten your own history. You have forgotten your history. Don't match me, oh. Don't match me. Don't match me. Don't worry. We will see who will laugh last. Useless man. Useless, unfaithful idiots. Useless sugar daddy. Idiot, you're lying down. You're lying down. They will soon put you inside the grave.
So, Doctor, um, she sustained some internal injuries, and the X-ray shows she has broken ribs, while the other test result shows she has limited flow of blood to the brains, which resulted in brain stroke. Currently, she's in coma. Thank God she's responding fast to treatment. In a few days' time, she should regain consciousness. Thank you, Doctor. At least with this... With this, I'm calm now. At least she's responding to treatment. Yes. I'm yes. calm now. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, nurse, what about you? Nurse! Nurse! She has regained consciousness. Wow. Mom, how are you feeling? How are you feeling now? Are you okay? Are you okay? Just calm down, just calm down, just calm down. Calm down, sorry. You can stand down and just relax yourself. I know I'm okay, sorry. I'll be back. Thank you. My dear, sorry. You are in a hospital here in Abuja. Sorry. Thank God you have regained consciousness, sorry. Hospital? Mm, yes. Okay. Ah! Ah, get ah, this way! Get out! Get out of there! I sent you down! So your wife knew about me all along? Sudad. And you refused to tell me anything? I am as bewildered as you are. I don't know how she got to know. Uh. Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry. Who told her? How does she know? Sudan, this is the mystery that I have to unravel myself. But you're the only friend I have. See, I'm sincerely sorry. She didn't know that I bought a new house. She didn't know that I have a visitor staying there. Now, the question is, how does she know? Who told her? Your wife came with her friends. And they dealt with me. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> they bounced on me like hungry tigers. Mm, they wanted to kill me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, my dear. Sorry. It's okay. Listen. Uh -huh. I am here for you. Okay? 
my eyes is on you 24 hours if you can see that i've started work here in the hospital listen i will make sure that things like this would not repeat itself again listen as long as i'm alive i will protect you with everything that i have i'm sorry sorry my dear sorry 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 are you hungry what do you want to eat? I will personally go and buy it myself. What do you want to eat? You said you're hungry now. What do you want to eat? You're falling your head again. <laughs> you won't believe it, eh? Now, clot, if you see it. <laughs> I'm going to buy two colors. <laughs> you know me, I like good things. <laughs> you love good things, you. Me. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute, please. Okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Yes, honey. You know I love hearing your voice. <laughs> same, same place? That one has a jacuzzi in the bathroom? Oh. <laughs> what, what time? I'll be there. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> All right, sweetie. <laughs> Bye. Hmm. Is you, Bella? Ah, uh, Abba. <laughs> the last time I checked, you're still a married woman. Ah. Uh, yes. So, do you wish for my kind of marriage? Well, at least you have a husband to call your own. Legal husband mm. and you have a beautiful daughter mm. what about those of us that don't have anything to show for it even at this age nothing not even a serious relationship mm. nothing well you see i will not allow any man to make me feel less than i am do you understand me listen i am a human being i am not a piece of wood Huh? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. You can laugh, oh. You can laugh. Steve, listen to me. I am a full fledged, hot blooded woman. So, if you ladies want to continue living your boring life, so decide. <laughs> hmm? As for me, married or not, I am going to <laughs> enjoy my life. Yeah, your Enjoy your life, my dear. You can't kill, kill, kill yourself. No problem, babe. Okay, okay, okay. No problem. No problem. Mm -hmm. No problem. Yes. We are enjoying ourselves already. Mm. Um, where's this guy? Wait up, mm. please. Get another bottle of wine, please. Please, sense, sense. I, 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 I need to be on fire before I go. Yes, yeah, so. Uh, we enjoy this. And you know this, my bobo. Um, <laughs> he is hot like. I Enjoy know. your uh, life, babe. Go on. The, 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 the guy, the guy, he, he drives me crazy. <laughs> you know, uh, I am gonna give him. <clears throat> is it reverse? You know. Reverse. Uh, you I'm know. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't wait. You guys, hurry up! I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> my god. Guess who I bumped into today? Hmm? Who? 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 Which Martin? Martin Ebunike. Ah. Mm -hmm. Your school boyfriend. Mm -hmm. yes. Wait, wait. The one you dumped in our final year? The very same Martin. Who? Mm -hmm. So, oh, he must be married now. With kids. Oh, well, he was, but lost his wife, now has a son. The, the, the stage is set now. Yes. Are you guys trying to hook up or uh, continue hook up? where you start to come back together? Of course, that's what I'm praying for. Pray, you're still praying. <laughs> you have not convinced him. Let us do the wedding tomorrow. Look at this Don't lady. Don't worry. You see, eh, by the time I finished rhythmatizing him this weekend, oh my God, we are marching down the aisle. You're still coming <laughs> weekend, not even today. We are going You there. should be heading there now. We are there already. <laughs> give him a kosho. Okoso, why you give Okoso? I know. Lucky you. Eh? 
blocking me, my This is your second chance, so you are better. Don't blow it! Wine his brain. <laughs> Calm down. You know what I can do now? I'm going to twerk and twist oh, and oh, twist. Oh, 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 <laughs> You're so lucky. Oh. I'm oh, lucky. I'm lucky. Oh. lucky and Let's I pray for you. Cheers to your husband. Oh, oh my goodness. Good, so good, 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 good. Cheers, cheers to the rock. Cheers, cheers. Cheers to your so, husband. And, and, and. Please hurry up. I have to go. <clears throat> good day, ma'am. You sent for me. Where is my husband? I don't understand, ma'am. Are you deaf? Or are you daft? My husband has not been around for one month. And you're telling me I don't understand. Uh, sincerely, ma'am, I don't understand. You must be a very stupid man. You think you want to play with my intelligence? Are you not the manager of the company? So what the heck are you talking about, you stupid dumb fool? Eh? What kind of useless manager are you? With all due respect, ma'am, I don't know my boss's whereabouts. Moreover, you are his wife and lives in the same house with him. I should be the one asking you his whereabouts. So please, I will wish you refrain from raining for that insult on me. Now get out and leave my house right now. Get out of my house right now. Get out of, get out of my house. Come on, get out of my house. Bloody idiot. Can you imagine the nonsense? Get out of my house! Mm. She really went too far. But thank God the girl survived it. Ah, thank God, though. No. At least she's uh, recovering. Yeah. So, how have you been coping? My brother, I don't want to leave this town for now. I want to stay so that my eyes will be on her because I don't know what she has in mind to do next. So, I have to be here to watch her. So, I officially will be operating from this branch office in Abuja. So, I'm here for now. You understand? I'm here for now so that uh, my eyes will be on her because that woman, I can never underestimate her actions. I cannot. So, I'm here now, for now. Good. Hmm. Sorry. Ha, Naji. Hello? Yeah, hey, Naji, how are you? What's up? Little issue. Why are you there? What little issue that you cannot handle? My wife. What happened? My wife invited you over to the house. Now, listen. Read my voice loud and clear. The next time she steps her feet in that office, call the police and get her arrested. Is that understood? If you do not carry out my instructions, consider yourself sacked. Can you imagine? No, no, can you imagine? My wife went to the office, asking my manager my whereabouts. As if that was not enough. She now invited him. Okay, not even if I, she now summoned him to come to the house. Bro, it has not gotten to the point of urging for arrest. <clears throat> she's still your wife. My brother. Yes, yeah, she's still my wife, but I will shock her. Anyway, I have a good news for you. Good news. Angela has put to bed. Congratulations! <laughs> <Huh? laughs> Congratulations! Thank you very much. Thank wow, wow, wow! Oh boy, I beg, I beg, I beg. No, 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 I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. What will my mother say? 
I eventually brought her fears upon her. My mother will be so disappointed in me. Sudan. Just calm down. This is not supposed to get you worried. You should be happy for this news. You're only saying this because you're not in my shoes. Sudhat, you are pregnant for me yet. I have accepted responsibility. I am not an irresponsible man that runs away from his responsibilities, Sudhat. Marry me. Make me a happy man. I want to take care of you every day of my life. Do you really love me, Richard? I love you with every blood in my body. I love you so much. Is that a yes to my proposal? Johnny, Johnny, <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Johnny, Thank you. Johnny, <laughs> Johnny, 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 I will take good care of you. Nobody on earth will harm you as long as I'm alive, baby. Even if it's the last card that I have, baby, I will take care of you. I will give you the emotional stability. Sorry, sorry for the delay, sorry. What took you so long? I had a whole lot to tidy up before getting out of the office. I'm sorry about that. Mm, it's okay. Kim, I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't wait to see my mother and my siblings. I know my mom will be so worried. Hey, come on. You will see them very soon. Soon? Very soon. I have instructed my um, house assistant to clean up the house. I want you to move in there. You are now returning to Enugu very soon. Are you serious? I am damn serious about it. I don't want to compromise your security. I want to be your security. I want to be by you. I want to protect you. I want to make sure that I put smiles on your face. I want you to smile always. You know, you're an angel in human form. You are more than an angel. You are an angel that is written in the Bible. That's who you are. I mean, I couldn't have asked God for a better man. Thank you so much for everything. Oh, uh, Thank you. But I still want to see my mother. Don't worry. We will see your mother very, very soon. If you say so. I know so. Yes, that is what you're thinking. Yes, you will see her. Johnny, you're mad. Johnny, you're mad. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs>
to discharge, the doctor called me. And, uh, <laughs> Let's go. Uh, you couldn't even help me out. It's fine. Good evening, Mama. Good evening, my son. Uh, Mama, please, are you Ugodne's mother? Yes, 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 I am. Uh, Mama, my name is Richard. Mm. I am Ugodne's friend from the city. Ugodne? Yes, Mama. Pico. Mama, Ugodne is very fine. Hmm. She's okay. Mm. Just that she had a little domestic accident. Uh, uh, accident? Yes, yeah, she said I should come and uh, nah. pick you up. No, nah. oh, my little girl is okay. No, Mama, there's nothing wrong. At least I traced here and came to see you. She's <sighs> fine. Like I said, by tomorrow morning, I will come and pick you. We'll go to Abuja to see your daughter. Okay, my son. I will. Okay. Oh, I will. Oh. God bless you. Thank you, Mama. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me you were bringing my mother. Well, I just wanted to surprise you. And I thank God I did because. <laughs> well, you should. Hey! Have been. Hey! Hey! Mama. Mm. Mama, how was your journey? Hope it wasn't stressful. Uh, no. I slept all through in the car. In fact, eh, the journey was so long. Hey. Abuja, here I come. <laughs> Why is everybody at home? I mean, eh, uh, Emika, how, how are you uh, doing? Yeah, they're all fine. They're Mana. all fine. Mana, them. Oh, go. Oh, give me. Eh, Mama, huh? I know you have a lot of questions. But there is time for that. Okay. But now I want you to relax while I prepare a sumptuous meal for you. Oh! oh? Mama, you are now. I can't wait to. You can't wait? I can't wait. <laughs> hey. Mama, let me help you with it. Oh, no, I'm no, no, Eh? Oh, gum. Hey, hey, more as you do. Eh? More to a hey. So, what are you doing? <laughs> what I, I should be asking you, what are you doing? Well, I am making something really nice for you and Mama. <laughs> All right, um, but um, unfortunately, I am going to Enugu right away. Now. Why do you want to leave again? So that I have an urgent issue to attend to today. It must be today. If not, things will spoil. Please. Hey, don't worry. I won't be there for a long time. Before you close your eyes and open it again, I am back to you, behind you, holding you, pecking you, mm -mm, giving mm -mm. you all this Don't even try to break. I have also gone ahead to get the services of two security personnel. They are resuming this evening to take care of you and Mama whilst I will be away. I have also engaged the services of a chef. She's going to resume tomorrow morning, whilst the security men will resume this evening, okay? In your condition, I don't want you to be bothering yourself, cooking or doing house chores. The house cook will do everything, okay? I know, but you know I'm going to miss you, right? Okay, you are going to miss me. I am already missing you. Mm. It's okay, since you said it's urgent. Very urgent. I must go. All right. But be careful, okay? Always careful. Okay. Mm. Before you know it, I'll call it, babe. I'm here. I'm there. <laughs> in the 
Okay. <laughs> Don't worry about your food. What about the food? Isn't it just a little? Are you, are you not going to eat okay, some? Okay, okay. Do you know what I'm going to eat? What? You're behind. Ah, no, no, no. Okay, now go, go. Now you need to go. You need to go. Big <laughs> Just go. <laughs> Be careful, all right? <sighs> what are you doing? Richard, what are you doing? Oh. You are you are packing. Oh, 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 okay. You want to go and meet your sugar girl. Use the I will punch your eye. Thank God. She survived. If not, I would have, I would have personally announced your obituary. You want to hit me? Hit me now! Useless idiot! Try and hit me! You want to go and move to your sugar girl? Oh! Move her! Useless sugar daddy! Stupid idiot! Now you have found your feet. Now you, you, you think you can treat me the way you like, right? Stupid idiot! At least. Move to your sugar girl! Move to her! At least I am not a Casanova. You are a bloody Casanova! You are an idiot! You are an idiot, that's what you are. Yes, woman. Yes, I agree, I slept with another man. But you cost it when you're sleeping with me. If it hadn't been for my father's money, if it hadn't been for my help, will it be what you are today? Useless idiot, useless Casanova. Come on, pack and leave now. Come on, pack. You're packing. Are these not my money that I used in buying these clothes? No, 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 leave my no, bag. no, no, no. Isabella, leave my bag. No, I will not physically going. handle you. No, you are not going. You cannot leave this place. It's not. Ah. Isabella, leave my bag. No, leave my bag. I will not leave it. You're not going. You're not going anywhere. Richard, you're not going anywhere. Leave my hand. Richard. Richard, you're not going to leave this house with this pack. So you, want, you, want, you, want, you want to go and meet that, that, that useless, stupid lover girl of yours? You, you've been away from this house for five months. Now you want to leave again. You're not going anywhere. Look at Isabella, <laughs> I want a divorce. You want a divorce? You want to divorce me? <laughs> Richard, you dare not try to divorce me. Otherwise, I'm going to make life miserable. Shut the hell up. I don't have time for this bluffing. What do you have that you would do to me? Now, listen, I've made up my mind. I'm leaving this house for you and your daughter. If you know and need anything for her sake, you call me, I'll provide the money. Right now, Ugonne is pregnant for me and she needs my assistance and my presence and I will oblige her. Richard, you are making a grave mistake. You are the one that will be making a very dangerous grave mistake if you try to challenge me because I have enough evidences to nail you and I will use it to the utmost potentials if you dare challenge me in court and I will not hesitate to also fight your father if he tries to use his financial muscle and his legal background and political connections to fight me in court. I will make sure that I disgrace him to the extent that he will become so ashamed of himself for not raising a responsible daughter like you. Come on, Isabella. Let's not lie to ourselves. You never loved me from the beginning. You know you don't care about me. You just wanted to use me. 
So forget all this. Listen, I am moving on. It is better. And I advise you move on too. Richard. R Richard, please, I am I'm, I'm sorry. Listen, I am not going to be engulfed or filled with that emotional blackmail. Or do I have the slightest idea or intentions to begin to negotiate with you or reconcile with it because, babe, you have done a whole lot of things to me. You have dealt with me. In the last two years, I have seen hell in your hands. It was your fault. All the men that you have been sleeping with. No, it's just one. It's just one. Do you know? It was your fault. Do you know that I've had a meeting with them one on one and they have confessed? Listen, my decisions, I have made my decisions and I am not rescinding. I am moving on. I advise you to also move on if you don't like it. Just go and help the transformer. Richard, I'm sorry. Richard, please, please. Just shut up. Richard, please. Shut up. Shut up. Please, please, Richard. Listen, okay, Richard, listen. You, 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 you can marry her. You can marry your girl. You can, you can make her your second wife. But, but please, please don't divorce me. Please, please. Just take your hands off. Your torches. The sound of your voice irritates me to the bones. Just go far from me. Richard, please. Despite all the nonsense that I have taken from you in the last two years, Isabella, go upon your professional qualification as a big businesswoman. You descended so low to beat a woman that did not do Anything, absolutely nothing to you. I'm sorry, Richard. Listen, for your information, I am going to her parent to ask for her hand in marriage. Richard, please don't leave me. Your, your daughter needs you. Please, Richard. Thank you. Please, please. Knowledgeable. I have been on the street. I'm a street man. Babe, you cannot cajole me into a cocoon. No. If I will remind you or inform you that the same daughter that you claimed is mine, I have gone ahead to do a DNA test. Have the result. So, for your information, take that girl, now that she's little, to her father, to get used to the man that is her father, before she will grow up and hate you. Miss Richard, I beg you, please don't leave me. I will not do anything stupid. If you also do not do anything stupid. Richard, please. Please don't leave me, I beg you. Please. Always remember, this was your fault. I have always warned you. I have pleaded. I knelt down because of the love that I have for you. But for you, it was your father's wealth. Meanwhile, I was the one cracking my brains every night without sleeping for years to make sure that this company stands. I am a professional. I have this. I have the street credibility. And I loved you. I loved you. I could die for you. But what did you do? Your father's wealth entered into you that you decided to sleep with every man that says hello. hello. You were just one man. Excuse me. Just please. Don't touch this bag if you don't want me to be an animal like you.
Jeff! Jeff! Who Take this that? back to the truck of the boat. Okay, sir. Oh, yeah, be fast. Listen, eh? I am leaving this out. If you like, go. If you want to stay, Madame will be paying your salary. You didn't hear me, so? Yes, sir. You understand, Abby? Yes, sir. Good. If you do not tell me the truth today, I will strangle you here. I want to know how my wife got to know that I own this place. How you got to know my wife and why you allow my wife to enter this compound to molest my visitor. If you don't speak right now, I will hand you over to the police hey. and they will take you to court and you will rot in jail. Oh God, I beg. Start speaking right now. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. I temptation, I beg, I beg. I go tell you how you take up and I go tell you, I beg. So Richard is just going to end it with me like this. After everything I did to help him succeed, how do I face my friends? The society. The shame. Almighty Isabella now rejected and divorced by her husband with whom she has bragged so much. Ah. This is too much for me. Richard, you cannot destroy me just like that. No. No. I can't believe this. Odogu, yeah. after all I have done for you in this life, and I am still doing more, you compromise my safety because of 30,000 naira, Odogu. Okay, I beg, no what beg. is it that I have not done for you? So. If they told you to kill me, you would have killed me too. Okay, no, it, but you, you know go happen again, okay? You know go happen yes, again. Yes, it will happen again. You know go happen again, okay? Get up, eh? Uh, Just go to your house, hey. pack your things and get out. Okay, beg now. My friend, okay, beg now, if I beg. count to three, okay, you are saying, get, will you, will you get, okay. get, get out of this place. Oh, but, Idiot. Can you imagine? Who do you? A guy that I put my life in his hands. No, 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 not going that. I, Odugu must go to cell. I will lock him up. It's not possible. Cool. Ah, no problem. Just send that in. Goodness. Bella. <laughs> Hi. Oh my goodness. I'm so, so happy to see you again. Oh, I've so missed you. I missed you too. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's so nice to see you again. Oh God. Hi, Lanky. <laughs> How are you? God. Oh my goodness! Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, I missed you, baby. How are you? What's, what's, you 
you know what? Why don't you just wait and then we can go somewhere more comfortable? Come on, I know you want it. God, I like this. All right, let's go. Okay, let's go. Why don't you um, wait, 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 don't start the office? Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go. Good day, sir. Yeah, good day. How are you? Fine, thank you. Okay, um, Detective Usaro. Okay. From State Criminal Investigation Department. So, can I see your record book, please? Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> oh my God. Since you assigned this case to me and asked me to keep a permanent watch over him, I've been on his trail. I equally investigate everybody he deals with. As a matter of fact, sir, we may just be closing in on him. I'm listening. Okay. Two days ago, sir, a certain woman drove to his office in a Toyota Venza car. A few minutes later, they both drove out in the same car. So I trailed them to their destination, which happened to be Topic Glamour Hotel at uh, Uber Road in GRA. When they checked in, I went into the reception and discovered that they were both booked with the same name. Isabella Mokik. So with this, uh, I carried out further investigations and um, discovered that the woman who must be the bearer of the name happens to be the wife of 
a popular engineer, Richard Adibe, in Enugu. So, sir, for the said woman to drive all the way from Enugu to Benin to see a notorious criminal as Lanky, sir, it means they are up to something. Hmm, that's very impressive, detective. Thank you, sir. Uh, you may go back to your duty. I will send for you later. Meanwhile, uh, give me all the details and information concerning the woman so that I contact the Enugu command hmm, for their further investigation. Right away, sir. So, oh, easy. You'll be on your way now. <laughs> Name. Mm -hmm. mm. Sweetheart. Uh, mommy. Mm. So, why are you... Uh, this happy was the problem. Did you win a lottery? Well, mm -mm, I'm not happy. Why are you not happy? Because Mama says she's leaving tomorrow. Huh? Mama, why now? Ah, Mama, it's not good now. Mama, I, 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 I thought that uh, you're going to stay with us for some time. I mean, your, your stay here, you know, has brought so much happiness and goodness in our lives. That's the same thing I told her. Hmm. My son. You know I left her younger ones with my sister. Hmm? I must go and see them. Hmm? Besides, I need to be in the village to start the preparation for this marriage ceremony. Okay. Well, it's okay. That's fine. Uh, well, it's nice. But um, when you go, just um, let them know you know, what you have discussed and agreed. Let your people know about it. Whilst uh, I and uh, Zohia will be making our own preparation. Mm -hmm. um, I think um, by the end of this month, I will have to go to the village to inform my people as well. Then uh, by, let's say, second week, right? Second week of next month, mm -hmm. we'll just come and see you people. All right, my son. Mm. <laughs> you see, you people have been very wonderful and hospitable to me. Mm? I can see that my daughter is in safe hand. Please, I beg you, continue to take good care of her for me. She's my angel. She's, she's all I have. Uh, Be cool. Uh... <laughs> For my promise, I will do that all the rest of my life. Mm. Mm. Mm? I will take care of her because I know she's equally taking care of me. Amen. And Mama, you should also take good care of yourself. Yes. I will. Mm? And I keep telling you that you have nothing to worry about because okay. I have the best man here. <laughs> Please, what are you should excuse me. Let me go inside and oh. put seven things together. Okay. All right, Mama. Good night. Good night. Mm. So, by the end of next month, we'll be husband and wife and <laughs> our baby mm -hmm. boy. A girl. Mm -mm. I want a girl. Yes. I've always preferred. A girl, yes, a girl. A girl, right? Yes, a girl. So we are even. A girl, a girl. Sir, <laughs> so I just concluded the investigation on Mrs. Isabella Mokike. But she's Isabella Adibe, the wife of Engineer Adibe. My investigation further revealed that Engineer Adibe resides in Abuja as a result of the dispute he had with his wife Isabella here in Enugu. I also discovered that he is suing his wife for divorce. <laughs> he had misunderstanding with the wife and he's suing for a divorce. Afterwards, the wife was spotted with Lanky, the notorious criminal in Benin City. Do you have uh, engineer Adibes uh, 
address in Abuja? Uh, sorry, sir. I couldn't get that one, but I heard he has a branch office in Abuja. I have that particular address. Sir, uh, everything is in the report that I sent before now. Okay. You have done a good job. Yeah, thanks, sir. I will go through the report and I will forward it to Edo State Command. The FCT command needs to be alerted urgently. You can leave now. Okay, sir. Detective Osaro, we've got a feedback from Enugu State Command. It has been established that that woman is married to the engineer you talked about, but is being sued for divorce by her husband. Detective? Sir, these investigations have pointed to a major fact. Mr. Richard's life is in danger. Oh, you see, this could be our chance of prosecuting that most wanted criminal for all his crimes against the state and elsewhere. Why is prevented under heat on innocent citizens? Definitely, sir. Good. I have contacted the FCT command. You will proceed to Abuja immediately. A team is already waiting for you there. Okay, sir. Detective? Sir. That criminal must not slip through our hands this time. Make sure Mr. Richard's life is safe. Is that clear? All right, sir. Good. So, sir, easy. You can proceed. Journey. It was fantastic. Your people are so lovely and hospitable. Really? I swear. Hmm. Now, what happened? Tell me. When Mama introduced us to them, mm -hmm. we now made a presentation of uh, Tula Nord, drinks and uh, money. Hmm. Then they now submitted the marriage list ah. to us. Babe, I am so happy. So tell me, how is Mama? How are my siblings? How is everyone? Mama is fantastic. She, she was filled up with joy. I know. Mm, and uh, she gave us fresh palm oil. I, ah, Mama. <laughs> I trust my mother. She gave us Gary. One. Everything is in the boat. Later, I tell the security guy to bring it in. Mm, of course, I will. So tell me, who did you go with? Well, I went with two of my uncles. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Ibe Zimako and uh, De Ukujago. Mm. You know, but what is going to happen is um, immediately I submit the proposal for the bridge construction contract. Mm -hmm. Then I'll call them, then we'll put us together to fix a date. But you are the one that is going to pick the date that you want. You will choose the date yourself. Me? Mm, yes. Why me? Because you are on the stage. <laughs>
Yeah, hello, Bonka. Are, are you in town? Oh, that's fine. I'll be in Abuja tomorrow. Alright. I need you to get a very clean car. A clean car in good condition. Uh, don't worry, I'll forward you the money later. I need you to drive it straight to Baron Plaza and park it there. Leave the doors open and put the key under it to drive us foot mat. Alright? Yeah, send me the details later. Ah, okay. Alright, no problems. Okay, safe. When I get back to Enugu tomorrow, I will call him so that we can um, finalize the arrangements for the divorce. When he arrives, I'll call you so you can strike. Um, I don't think that will be necessary. <sighs> you don't have to worry your beautiful head about that. Because if anything happens to him in Enugu, you will be the first suspect. Uh, so what do we do now? I shall commune with him in the FCT. I'll leave tomorrow. Oh. You are a smart and uh, intelligent. I will, uh, I will submit it myself. Probably tomorrow or next. Okay, sir. Okay. Then. Oh. Exactly. Thank you very much, sir. <sighs> Bye. Good day, sir. Yeah, good day, young man. Um, who are you and uh, how can I be of assistance to you? I am Detective Osaro. I was recently posted to Force Headquarters here in Abuja. Actually, sir, I have a younger brother who just finished his national service. I promised him that I would check some firms around to see if I can secure a place for him. He read civil engineering. Detective, unfortunately, we do not have any need for employment now. Uh, but just drop his contact, his address with the secretary. Immediately, there is any vacant position, we will reach him. That I promise you. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. All right, sir. All right.
Welcome to Carrington's Youth, and good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Room 111. Okay. Your name, please? Stephen Odion. All right, hold on. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Welcome. Can you believe? My daughter is missing him already. That's so sad. So, what's your plan? <sighs> I'm trying to wrap my head on something reasonable. <laughs> Babe, face it. Richard has made up his mind. So, why don't you accept the divorce and move on? Hmm. Accept to be divorced. Hmm. I cannot be divorced. I will not be humiliated by Richard. Not after all my sacrifices for him. I'd rather be a widow than be divorced. You would what? Isabella! So, how far? The car is still parked there. Okay. 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 Yes. No problem. So, have a nice day. So, um, there's no <sighs> spot wrong. Let's just still wait. Yeah. We'll get him. Inspector Steve. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that's it. Okay. okay. Attack. <laughs> Voices. But we haven't seen him leave the hotel premises. Okay. Okay. Be ready to engage. We will be there in a bit. Okay? Let's move, let's move, let's move.
Freeze right there. Your hands where I can see them. Your hands up! Lanky, you have come to the end of your story. Now, on your knees. Get down! What's going on here? Good evening, Mr. Richard. Yeah. Good, good evening. What, what's going on? My name is Detective Osaro. Were you not the young man that came to my office the other day? You're correct, sir. So what are you doing in my house? Actually, we've been trailing this criminal. So one of these past days, we discovered your wife, Isabella, paid him a visit. We carried out some investigations and discovered you have issues with your wife. We then concluded your life may be in danger. So we trailed him all the way from Benin to Abuja. His mission was to assassinate you. But as you can see, we took control of the situation. As I speak to you right now, your wife has been arrested. You say lie. You want to kill me? Why do you want to kill me? Can, 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 can you imagine? You were threatening me. Hey, officer. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, you and your team. We appreciate you. My, my family and I are very, very appreciative of what you have just done. You, you, can you imagine the Nigerian police? Some of them are working. I did not report to them. They are used. God will bless you. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Mr. Richard. We are grateful. And for Isabella, she is no longer my wife. We are divorced. This is my wife now. I think let the law take its course. Interesting. Very well, Mr. Richard. Hey. We are happy doing our job. Thank you, officer. Coffee. Journey of life 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 Oh Journey of life Life is entwined but divided Sharp leads the world is divided Same society for the rich and poor Same opportunity for the weak and strong To the same love, but of them subjected Same world, but them are living in One got it all, while the other ain't lucky enough To find food to eat and now Wonder if life is fair enough Journey of life Johnny of life Johnny of life Johnny of life A mystery of life oh, Johnny of life Johnny of life 